In this video, I'm going to talk about the five businesses that you need to start in 2024 if you want to make six figures or more. I've been having so many DMs based on my last video of five businesses not to start that I, hey, all right, if these are not to start, what do we start? So in this video, we're going to cover just that. The first business that's extremely underrated is manual labor businesses. What do I mean by that? This is really just the act of selling a service door to door. This can be selling lawn, pressure cleaning. This can be door knocking and selling, you know, alarm systems, pest control. All these are different things. I put them into one category of selling door to door services because I believe as people try to go online, as people try to make things so easy for themselves, the original door knocking selling a service is going to crush in 2024. People are I think going to start avoiding all these crazy ads and these crazy businesses that are trying to start online and people are going to just run out of money. They're going to keep trying to spend making things so easy. I had a mentor once, Brett, used to always say, why don't we just do the thing? And sometimes when you think you're really smart and you try to make everything so streamlined, so processed, like let's say we're trying to sell pest control, right? And instead of knocking on doors, you're like, I don't want to do that. I'm too good for that. So, okay. So let me run Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and then let me lead them to a landing page. And that landing page is going to lead them to a call. And that call is going to lead them to a call with my sales guy. And that's going to lead them to an order page and a credit card, blah, blah, right? You see all those steps. Why don't we just go do the thing and go knock on the door and go sell the freaking pest control? That I think is going to crush. I believe you can absolutely make six figures or more selling things door to door. One that I've been seeing that's amazing is uh, pressure cleaning. Like you just knock on the door and say, hey, for 200 bucks, I'll pressure clean your house or the front part or your driveway or whatever. And you can knock that out in like an hour or two. You know, if you have eight hours in the day, you can do eight of those, six of those, let's say, five of those if you're a little lazier. Make a thousand bucks a day and then you can hire someone to go knock on other doors with you and before you know it's crazy. So that's the first one. I think it's an amazing opportunity. People are not taking advantage of that. People are kind of making things too easy. Just go do the thing. Business number two is a coaching business. This one gets a lot of heat because I know there's a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of interesting characters coaching, maybe people not doing the right ethical thing. But what I mean by this is there has to be something you're good at. There has to be something you're very good at, right? If you're at least 16 years old, had many years in your life to do something. Something. Maybe it's playing video games. Maybe you're great at playing tennis. Maybe you're great at golf. Maybe you're great at baseball. Maybe you're great at who knows. I'm sure you can find somebody. Let's say you're great at Minecraft or playing video games. I'm sure you can find somebody. Maybe you sell a coaching program with you. Maybe for like 200 bucks, you know, teaching people how to get better at whatever game. Or maybe it's real estate. Maybe it's something business wise. Obviously, if you can help people make money or earn income, that's a more lucrative business and you can get to six figures faster. But I've seen coaches that literally making so much money with relationship advice, with health advice. I mean, I have a coach that I pay not much, but I pay him like 150 bucks a month and he helped me with health and he's in Egypt and he's got a bunch of clients. I don't know if he makes six figures, but you could take that business to six figures. I have a coach that helped me with my mindset and stuff. And I pay him 200 bucks an hour. I don't know how many clients he has. So there's probably something you're really good at. You have to really just sit and think, what do I do? What have I spent the last 10 years on? that I'm pretty freaking good at. And if you've done it for 10 years, there's many other people that do it and you can turn that into a business. Oh yeah, I actually have another friend that his niche is very specific, it's excellent. He does relationship coaching for toxic relationships. And bro, this guy makes so much money, it's crazy. This doesn't help people make money. He's not like a psychologist, he didn't get a degree, but he's really good at this. He's been in many relationships that are toxic. He's studied a lot, he's read a lot of books, he's been to a lot of seminars about it. And now he just shares his experience and his knowledge with other people and they pay him for the help. For the conversation. This is an absolute business you can make six figures on. For the last eight to 10 years, what have you been doing that you're really freaking good at that and you can teach other people? Number three is a media agency or social media marketing agency. Now this has been around for a while at this point, obviously, but there's still major, major gaps in the market. I think small to middle businesses need a lot of this. I mean, you could just look online, right? I'm in Argentina right now and there's like top restaurants here, right? And I go to find them on Instagram and they have like three pictures they haven't posted in six years. It's top restaurants in Argentina that probably make millions of dollars and they don't even have an Instagram. Why wouldn't they pay you thousand a month, 3000 a month to bring them in more customers by posting more, by making reels, by posting things on YouTube, by posting things on Insta, Facebook. That's so worth a restaurant, two grand a month for you. You literally get five of those clients a month or five of those clients in a year and you're at $10,000 a month. That's what I mean by media agencies and social media agencies. It's incredible. Like it's incredible that there's still so much opportunity with this. I was blown away. Obviously in Argentina and US are a little different, but 
I mean, if you go to the US, think about the 10 places that you visit. Maybe it's a coffee shop, maybe it's a restaurant, maybe it's a gym, maybe it's whatever. And look at their social medias. Look, I bet you there's one out of those 10 that is a pretty bad social media presence. And that is where you can come in and you can literally just be better than them. And if you're watching this, you're probably already better than them. If you know how to post, you know how to use Instagram, you know how to take pictures with your iPhone, you have a nice camera, that's a plus. You know how to edit, that's a plus. But you can learn editing, you can learn how to take nice photos all online on YouTube for free. There's a bunch of people that do that. And then all you have to do is say, hey, look, let me do it for free for a month. If it brings you in more customers, let's talk about paying me a thousand, two thousand a month. If it doesn't, the worst that can happen is you spend a little bit of your time, but you created a good relationship with this person. Maybe it doesn't happen today, or maybe later on, or maybe they refer you to a friend and say, hey, look, I appreciate this month for free. It didn't work for me, but look, my friend has a restaurant down the street. I think he might have a budget for that. I think there's a huge, 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 huge opportunity for this to make six figures. It's a need in the marketplace. People need to go digital. Restaurants, businesses need to improve their digital game if they want to compete. And they know this. That's the good thing about this market. They know this. They know that at this point, they don't get online and they don't do their shit. They're going to be left in the past. Number four, a Google ads agency. Now this takes a little bit more learning. This takes a little bit more expertise. But what I'm seeing is Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. These are all other media platforms to get leads, to do marketing. And the, what I mean, Google ads agencies, an ad buyer, a media buyer, someone who is taking someone's company, making ads, spending money on Google and producing leads for these companies. This is what I mean, right? So for my real estate company, we spend a lot of money on Google advertising to get leads. And there's a lot of companies that do. Almost all the big companies in the world have some type of Google budget, right? And if you ever go on Google and you type in, like, for example, Metro Fire in a hotel in Buenos Aires, you might see somewhere it's a sponsored or ad. The company is paying for you to click on that. Pay per click. You can learn pay per click on YouTube. You can learn pay per click. I'd probably recommend buying like a 200, 500 or a thousand dollar pay-per-click course maybe you can find online and learning it. This is what you want to do. But I think there's massive potential because as Facebook, as Instagram, as Snapchat, as TikTok, their algorithms change so often and Facebook is constantly implementing new rules. I've seen a lot of Facebook marketers get off of Facebook because things just change so frequently and you can't maintain a steady flow of campaigns and of leads because there's all these updates and all these changes and it's freaking annoying for marketers and for, for business owners. So I think that in 2024, a lot more people are going to go on Google meaning a lot more marketers, meaning a lot more people. People are not searching for businesses. They're not searching for services on Facebook or Snapchat. They might be shopping for clothes on TikTok or on Instagram. I, I buy that, I understand that. But if you wanna sell your house, for example, if you are looking for a house, if you wanna find a hotel, find the best restaurant in your area, probably Google's where you're going. And if you can learn how to optimize that and bring leads for somebody, fucking good. So in 2024, Google Ads agency is going to be the same. And last but not least, number five, faceless social media channels. The YouTube one was a huge trend and it probably still is a, a trend. People are making tons of money with that. But now I'm seeing faceless TikTok channels. There's faceless everything now. Faceless Instagram has been a thing, you know, kind of like the millionaire mentor, all those types of um, social accounts. I see that YouTube from my limited research, I'm not a pro on that, but I've done quite a bit of research on this. And it seems like YouTube is a pretty big opportunity for this. Between YouTube Shorts and long YouTube videos, faceless channels that can then get monetized, that can then get sponsored, that can then get affiliated. There's a huge opportunity to make six figures in this. I think it's a great business if you want to stay behind the screen, you don't want to get into sales, you don't want to really like talk to many people. Faceless YouTube channel is a lot of work. You know, I know there's a lot of websites on there that are making it really easy, but from my research, the people that are actually making six figures or more a year are still doing it kind of the old fashioned way. They do use a lot of these websites and AI to make a video, but then they have real people editing the video, making the video better, making the video more friendly. Also, TikTok just started something that if you post an AI video, you have to click something that says this is an AI video. And what I'm gathering is that they're probably going to not monetize these AI videos. That's bad for you if you're just doing AI videos because you know, you're not gonna make any money from it. So the only way I think that YouTube and TikTok and Instagram are gonna let you make money on their platforms is if there's a human behind it. Because imagine that every AI video can go out there and then they're paying people to make, to just click buttons to make ad videos. It doesn't really make sense. So if you could do that, it's insane. If you want to stay behind the screen and do, and do a business and you face this YouTube is the way to go in 2024. So this is my opinion on what's happening in 2024. I've been in business for a while. I've met a lot of people and don't get stuck in the wrong business. Watch my other video of the five businesses not to start. Don't do those. Let me know in the comments below which business you think is going to crush it in 2024. Appreciate your time. I'll see you on the next video.